What's happening traders is yours truly Dapo Willis and guys I just wanted to say welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to the most anticipated segment of my YouTube channel called Trader Talk. I think this should be volume 3 or 4. I think this is volume 3. I'm going to have to check that right. So Trader Talk is basically where I come on my YouTube channel every Tuesday to basically analyze the market for you guys. Um, some of you guys who are going to be watching this are already on my Forex Mastery course. Some of you are just random followers from YouTube. All the same, I feel the need to come on here and obviously share my thoughts, my analysis for the week. For those of you guys who are on the Forex Mastery course, what I always try and do here, um, I always, when you're done with the program, I also like to obviously come on here and update you guys on a week to week basis because once you take the program, I also want you guys to also see how I'm able to combine all the methodologies that I speak about, all the all my tools and why I like to use them in that way. I also like to come and analyze the market real time so that I get to show you guys how exactly I'm combining all those ideologies week by week. Guys, you have to understand that the Forex market is very dynamic, always changing and ever changing. And the way I designed the Forex Mastery course is to as you know, I don't believe in indicators. As you know, I don't believe in just one single strategy. Why? Because the market is dynamic and it's ever-changing, right? And that's exactly why I obviously put out the Forex Mastery course to educate you guys that, listen, it's not one indicator or a bunch of indicators that's going to help your trading. It's your ability to come in week in, week out and adapt. What we're trying to do here, what I'm trying to show you guys is basically how to adapt to ever changing market conditions, right? The market is acting like this today. Okay, this is exactly what we're gonna do and stuff like that, right? So no indicators. This on this YouTube channel, we say no indicators and we say no strategy. What we believe in is top-down analysis. How do we go from higher time frame to lower time frame? Analyzing every single time frame for what it represents to help us make the best trading decision possible. Now, before I go into my charts, guys, um, we've been going back and forth on euro and gold and a couple of other and GBP, USD and stuff like that. So I want to use this 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 particular video this week to go back into the charts to speak about the trades that I've been placing and yeah. Potentially, we can see some trading opportunities you guys can walk away with and make a lot of money. So, guys, I'm going to fucking stop talking at this point and I'm going to jump right into the chat. All right, guys, I'll see you guys on my screen. All right, guys, so welcome inside of my screen. Um, unfortunately, today, you guys are not going to be seeing my face on my screen. Why? Because I just got me a big ass new monitor and my webcam hasn't arrived just yet. So, guys, Today, you're just going to have to listen to me speak, but that shouldn't deter you guys from listening to exactly what I have to say. Now, guys, right in front of us is the AUD USD chart, and um, I want to kick off with AUD USD today. Actually, do I want to let me quickly go over gold as to let, let's go into gold because gold has been on my watch list for a bit. I'm actually just leave it alone because it's starting to annoy me. But let's just quickly look at gold and see what gold is saying before we move on to a more brighter and prosperous future. <laughs> all right, gold. All right, guys. So this is exactly what gold is saying, right? Um, just want to quickly scale down to a daily time frame. Now, when I had my webinar yesterday, actually it was Sunday. When I had my webinar on Sunday, we were anticipating gold to come into um, because finally we had this break to the downside, which I was quite happy about. I'm just going to quickly do this which I was quite happy about. So I was expecting gold to pop into this region about here and then collapse all the way to the downside for a potential sell opportunity. And I told everybody, do not sell inside of here. Never sell at support or resistance levels. You have to wait for a bounce, at least a four hour. So I was waiting for a four hour candle, bearish engulfing candle to come and close somewhere around here for a sell opportunity. However, that did not happen. Instead, gold has gone ahead to do whatever the hell it wants to do so at this point gold is actually just starting to piss me off because it's like just toying with you know we try and identify a direction and then it's like you know so at this point you know he gets to a point whereby as a trader you just have to say you know what mr currency i'm gonna have to leave you alone when you're ready you're gonna tell me what you want to do so maybe for the next couple of weeks i'm not exactly going to be analyzing gold at least until i see some form of a I need to see some form of a clear direction from gold. At the moment, gold is not exactly telling me much. 
Um, so I'm just going to be watching gold to see. Uh, maybe on the weekly time frame, if we see a bullish engulfing candle to the upside, probably start looking for buy opportunities above this level or a bearish, you know, to the downside. Maybe we can start looking for selling opportunities. But at this moment, gold is doing nothing but moving sideways. This is sideways movement on a major level. Want any time we're trading with any time give me a sec let me make sure that that level is correct give me yeah that's correct very correct level um anytime oh yeah back to the monthly time frame as you can see we're still kind of like above this major level on the monthly time frame last month which was january closed above it this month so from what i can see it's possible that gold is having difficulties breaking back down below this level anytime i see multiple rejections off of a major level like this it always gives me you know you know like, like yo listen i might be you know just pretty much telling me that yo listen i might be i might not be ready to go in the direction that you want me to head to you know and stuff like that so yeah that's pretty much our our bias for gold this week so i'm going to be leaving gold alone for a bit because i have tried to look for tradable opportunities and nothing is really presenting itself it's either going jumping up or jumping down that being said, gold out of the way. I'm just gonna move. Usually, when something is not on my so when something is on my watch list but annoying me, I move it down to the bottom, um, right about here. And the most interesting pairs, I move to the top of my watch list. So AUD USD is actually quite interesting. I'm actually long AUD USD, and I'll explain to you guys why I'm long AUD USD shortly. Right. So if you go on the monthly time frame real quickly, Forex Mastery students, you know how to do this already. Top down analysis. I'm not going to waste my time too too much. I'm going to make it pretty quickly. So I'm just going to map out my key levels. Um, I'm not going to obviously start explaining how and why I'm mapping out my key levels like this because because just because I don't have the time to explain that shit to you guys. Um, we go here. All right, cool. So monthly time frame, like I always stress on the on on my videos and on the course always start from the monthly time frame um what i could see on the monthly time frame ov obviously was sideways bearish sideways bearish sideways bearish and then okay i was expecting us for another sideways and bearish and we were also trading below this trend i'll take it again guys sideways bearish sideways bearish sideways and bearish okay um so i was expecting another sideways and bearish however that did not happen not only did we not have sideways and bearish um we had break of structure let me just zoom this in for you guys to see properly so we had break of structure to the upside okay and not only did we have break of structure we also broke this downward trend line that had been telling that has been that had been protecting our downward trend for the longest time okay we broke it not only did we break it we closed above it and not only did we close above it we also came to test major level and started pointing back to the upside so this is a this is a clear case of a trend reversal this is for those of you asking or wondering how do i know if a trend is going to change it's simple the, the trend the market will always tell you but the issue is a lot of traders fail to pay attention. The market will always tell you. Now, for this, the number one characteristics of a downtrend is what? High, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low. And then all of a sudden, right, we came into putting a higher high from the previous high, right? And then not only did we have a break in structure, we also came to break the downward the descending trend line now not only did we break it we closed above it now ideally we should have come back and started trading back down below it if indeed this market was like if he wanted to continue his downtrend however that was not the case in this market we came closed above it retested above it and then i saw this bullish engulfing candle monthly time frame off of this major level so guys this was just shouting all the signs of trend reversal and then what you know just basically telling me that we're currently in the bullish market now that being said i've said this a million times um i have been able to spot a trading opportunity that i spoke about in my previous trader talk video i'm just going to remove this what actually happened was 
Um, so monthly time frame is to identify where exactly is the market going and as you can see the market is coming here pretty nicely pretty clearly pretty straightforward and then we go to the weekly to map out our key levels um, guys once again if you want to learn how to do this you have to grab the forex mastery course it teaches you guys how to break that break this shit down properly right so over to the daily time frame is where we come and look for tradable opportunities i remember um my last trader talk which was on um I think it was somewhere around here so 4th of february actually not 4th of february it was probably sometime have i done any trader talk this month today's the 9th um i think i did it earlier on maybe first or around that period anyways so i saw this very beautiful trend line that was forming um from swing low to swing high right about so okay the market was here at the time and as you can see we have had a fantastic bounce off of this region i actually went long at the close of this bullish engulfing candle and i'm going to be zooming in pretty shortly for you guys so this is a very clear case of um the trend is your friend okay this aud prior to now all all around here i was bearish okay on higher time frames i was bearish however the market has come to show me that yes indeed um you, you have no reason to be bearish as a matter of fact you need to be bullish okay so monthly time frame told me buy weekly time frame has mapped out my levels and then the daily time frame i was able to plot a very nice trend line and then the market has come to test it the third touch of the trend line always does the trick this is why i had no qualms no issues as to getting into this buy trade because i know for a fact that that this market is not going to let me down why because the third touch of the trend line is always where the magic happens now that being said i could see trend line on my side trend analysis on my side trend line pointing to the upside the overall trend pointing to the upside why higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high and potentially a higher low and we're most likely going to come in and put in a higher high somewhere about here good so i'm done with my daily analysis actually let me just zoom in pretty nicely so that we can actually plot some minor levels okay right about here so this was the temporary support um that was actually holding AUD USD for a long period of time actually for a couple of days if not weeks so since the 31st of December okay this market was holding between the 31st so about a month we ranged in this region and then remember when I always tell you guys this market was here now because my overall trend analysis had told me monthly time frame had told me that yo listen I'm pointing to the upside so what happened was when the market broke below I saw a, people, a lot of people trying to sell. Now, this is why it's always good to do a top-down analysis because a top-down analysis will tell you where the market is going to. Because I knew the market was heading to the upside, I was not bothered about getting into a sell trade. This is exactly how you save yourself some money. I'll take it again. AUD USD had, was already telling me it was bullish from a higher time frame perspective. Okay? Higher time perspective were telling me bullish. So, when if my overall perspective is telling me bullish and then i see sell trades i don't go i don't go i don't contradict my trend analysis never no matter how juicy the trade set, trade setup is even if the trade setup eventually plays out and i didn't get in in the market i'm i'm good because i know i'm a disciplined trader over time i will win over time statistically i will beat the market because i know when to not trade i know when to i listen to my rules of engagement right so that being said we broke below briefly as you can see briefly broke down below and um just gonna quickly now let's talk in terms of structure okay I just i don't need this anymore um so briefly we broke um down here but as you can see the market always respects this trend um and then we decided to pop above now you guys who have been following me the longest you know this is exactly how i like to trade right i like to see the market weed out all the fake and fake mo not fake all the dumb I, I consider them dumb money traders they would have gotten they would have sold somewhere around here and then they would have obviously wanted to get in all the way down here and obviously that's the case you know how it goes uh it didn't exactly work out for them so i was holding my, my positions for AUD usd um until i saw some clear direction and yes indeed we did come and pop above in this situation i went long on the 
four hour candle close right above this level like so right about here was my long position and then obviously um i think sometime on the um sometime yesterday so I, what happened was i had a webinar and we saw this setup, we analyzed everything together and then we said we're going to wait for a push up above this level and a bounce and a close above this level and then we're going to look for buy opportunities. So my buy scenario was somewhere about, my mouse is misbehaving again, come on buddy, relax. Ugh, give me a sec guys. So my buy trade came somewhere about above here. My stop losses are not just below somewhere here and my take profit, believe it or not, my take profit, I'm going to show you where my take profit is. Now, guys, there's a bigger picture that is actually forming on this pair right about. So this is a bigger picture, right? We're actually in a kind of like a channel slash a triangle formation going on about here. So when I bought here this morning, okay, not this morning, sorry. When I bought here um, oh, yesterday morning, so which was the 8th, right? Close above, right? Once I bought here, um, what happened was my first level target was actually at this trend line right about here. So I've taken away 50% of my position here. Why? Because there's a very high possibility that something like this might occur. Okay, guys, you see me, I always like to anticipate into the future just to see what exactly is happening. So something interesting like so might potentially happen before we actually start heading to the upside. Okay. Or we can indeed even drop down even lower okay so for the fact that i've been able to take advantage of this move i'm okay my stop losses have been moving to have been <laughs> my stop losses have been moved past break even and i have locked in 50 i've taken away 50 percent of my position right about here and i'm pretty much done with aud usd anything the market wants to do henceforth is entirely up to it um so that's AUD USD for me in a nutshell. Um, I'm going to be, so two things can happen, right? We can simply blow out from here. Even if we blow out from here, I'm good. Like my profit, I'm just, the only difference is if I had two lots open, I'll only benefit from the one lot open because I've already closed out 50% of my position, which is equals to one lot, right? So anything can happen from here. We can pull back and we can rally or we can break out from here. I wouldn't know for certain because this descending trend line is actually quite significant, right? I'll tell you what, guys, for those of you guys who actually might want to get into this trade and haven't gotten into this trade, wait for a pullback, right? A bounce off of this yellow zone to the upside will be sweet. Your stop losses can just come here and your take profits can be all the way up here. Trust me, guys, it can be absolutely sweet. So just wait for a bounce off of here or we might have a steeper pullback, okay? I'm just going to zoom this out properly. Um... Great. Let me see, guys. So it is very, very possible that we can have a pullback into this region right about here. Very, very possible. Okay. So this is why I have decided to lock in 50% of my position because I don't like to be in profit and give my profit away. I hate that shit, right? So this is what AUD USD can potentially do. Um, so I'm going to be watching. However, my, my 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 trades are in place. My stop losses are in place. Everything is in place. I've already been able to bank some juicy pips. So I'm not really going to be stressing too much. If we break out of here, unfortunately, guys, the trade setup is gone. Um, but if we pull into here, feel free. Wait for a bounce. A four-hour candle close. A bullish engulfing four hour candle close off of this region stop losses can come below here and then once we break out of this trend um counter trend line obviously your first level targets can come here and then the sky is the limit for you guys so guys here you go um this is pretty much my analysis for aud usd i have given you guys the rules of engagement i am already in this trade as we speak um i don't know why i didn't stream my my webinar on sunday on my youtube channel but if you did catch it you know 
Remember I said AUDUSD was a good buy. All right, guys, so AUDUSD in a nutshell, I'm not gonna waste too much time today uh, on this video because I'm not exactly in a good mood. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Um, so this is AUDUSD in a nutshell, guys. Bounce off of here. For those of you guys who did not get in early, wait for a pullback into here to the upside. For those of you guys who bought here, actually, I don't really want it to pull back into here. I just want it to break and just keep on going because I don't really have the time to come and start buying some more here because that means I'll have to start risking another 3% and praying to God that we break to the upside. For me, just keep going. Dude, just keep going. All right, guys. So this is AUDUSD in a nutshell. Um, I'm going to head over to the euro, which has been absolutely sweet in the past couple of days the euro list i like the euro because it listens to instructions like the euro usd listen it listens to me when i talk okay now guys over to the euro dollar right euro dollar is doing something very very simple basic and straightforward now um first of all this is why i don't like to draw my my trend lines too close to the market i'll tell you why for those of you guys who drew your trend lines too close to the market, this was already looking like a trend reversal. If I delete this, I saw some analysis on Instagram. Traders were already looking for what selling opportunities back down below here. Like they were already like, you know, it was time to go selling and all that. Whereas if they had drawn their trend lines properly, like I teach you guys on the Forex Mastery program, you draw your trend lines on the wick of the candles so that it accommodates for everything so this has gone from a bearish break to a fake out slash a test of the trend line because we have now come and closed right above this trend line that's exactly what has happened okay so this is exactly why i always encourage draw your trend lines properly so that you don't start getting false signals okay and as you can see the market has pulled in very nicely into this region beautifully done um you can see a very beautiful a b c d pattern a b c d most likely coming to complete somewhere around here for the euro for the euro dollar now i will be explaining to you guys how to buy this market shortly but there's another there's another trap that happened in the euro dollar okay that i also want to explain to you guys another trap now for those of you guys who are on the forex mastery program um you guys already know how i like to execute my trades how i like to get into the market but there's something you guys always fail to do not all of you guys but i tend to see it on the group chat on the telegram group and stuff like that guys let me tell you a little something right listen very carefully if you see an impulse leg like this don't think that the only consolidation is just going to be here a lot of the time a lot of you guys fall victim to premature entries because you feel like just because the market has pulled back it's time to start buying no you must first take into consideration the impulse leg first i'll give you an example this impulse leg started on the 2nd of november and completed on the 6th of january between the 2nd of november and the 6th of january is exactly two whole complete months that's almost 60 days now this consolidation that happened started on the 7th of january and ended on the 18th of january so the consolidation took 11 days don't ever for once or in your spirit life think that the market will spend two months creating an impulse leg and it will only consolidate for 11 days never i take it again don't ever in your real world or your spirit world think that the market is going to give you an impulse leg that took two months to complete and then the retracement will only last 11 days the market doesn't just jump ping pong here here and start going never it must come and take its time to consolidate okay if it took two months for the impulse leg expect at least maybe 20 days or more for the consolidation to take place before the market is now ready to start heading to the upside so what a lot of traders were doing is they were actually getting if you guys um go back to my if you guys go back to my um my i think volume two trader talk right 
you will remember where I was saying very, 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 very clearly. Be careful about buying at this region because I feel like the market wants to come and form a base somewhere around here. I would need to see a base and a double bottom and a bullish engulfing candle to push back to the upside before I start talking about buy situations. Why did I say this? Because I said I am not comfortable with this retracement. It is too linear. And should be told what happened. For those of you who started buying here, stop loss was your case. Okay, stop loss was your case. Anyways, let's not dwell on the losses of other people. Um, let's help them out, right? So, guys, moving on. I like now. I like this retracement on the euro dollar. I I prefer this retracement on the euro dollar. Now I can. Um, I feel comfortable enough to put my counter trend line. As you can see, the market has broken the counter trend line very beautifully. Mm, beautiful. I have no doubt. Now, this market is going to come here. But before we come here, this is exactly how I would encourage you guys to go about executing this trade. On a four-hour time frame, anticipate a pullback, okay? Anticipate a pullback, okay, into this region about here. Anticipate a pullback, okay, into this region around here. I will need to see for, for some of you guys, you already bought here, okay? Daily candle close was a, was a fair deal. To be honest daily candle close back above here was a fair deal right somewhere around here but for those of you guys who want to because if you went in on the daily candle close somewhere about here your stop losses have to come all the way here then the trade setup doesn't really look that juicy now in order for you to maximize your risk to reward ratio this is exactly what you can go ahead and do wait for a pullback into this region okay let's come on the one hour to see what the one hour is doing okay wait for a pullback into this region i will need to see a four hour candle close okay i will need to see a bounce off of this region with a four hour bullish engulfing candle close then my stop losses can come here so think about it if your entries are somewhere about here let me just bring out the position size calculator uh, short i want to buy if i bring out my position size calculator about here and my stop losses are here um, best believe that i'm gunning for the whole thing right all the way here so this is a risk to reward of a five to one if i risk three percent of my account if i'm risking three hundred dollars or three thousand dollars of my account i'm going to return back 15k this is exactly how you risk a little to make a lot if i extend this even further it increases it to seven to one so if i'm risking i this is exactly how you go about risking three percent to return back 21 percent not by day trading or by using signals no, no no this is exactly how you risk a little i'm going to send out 300 of my soldiers okay to go and bring me back 2100 soldiers i'm not going to send out 500 soldiers to go and bring me back only 1000 soldiers no or I'm not going to be greedy and send when I know that the whole army that I have is 1,000 soldiers. Then I'll risk half of my army to go and bring back 5,000 soldiers. No, 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 no. I have 10,000 soldiers. Are you listening, guys? 10,000 soldiers. Out of my 10,000 soldiers, I will take risk only 300 soldiers. That's 3%. Send it forward. Go and bring me back. 2100 soldiers so that even if i lose my 300 soldiers i won't cry okay i will still have 9700 more soldiers to send out to bring me back more soldiers to expand my empire that is the game of trading okay trading is all about taking a percentage of your capital sending it out to bring you back more more soldiers more profits more capital to the game so guys this is euro usd in a nutshell um this is going to be my my setup i'm going to be monitoring this for the couple um for the weeks ahead to come i just want to quickly flip to the s p 500 no trading opportunities now over to gbp usd um you guys remember when i told you guys that it's very simple and straightforward i know that gbp usd is coming here okay i had a buy trade somewhere around here i okay guys i had a buy. let me now this is very why it's very important to take out your profit i'm not in i'm no longer in this trade i'm not going to come on here and be blabbing to you guys oh i'm in that trade i'm in this trade there's no point to lie 
I'll tell you what it is for free. Okay, guys. Um, um, back to what I was saying. Okay, guys. So I usually get this question a lot in the comments. What is my broker of preference? My broker of preference is... Um, my broker of preference is Infinox Capital. To create your account, the link is going to be down below. Some people say, I'm in Uganda, I'm in South Africa, I'm in this. What's your broker of choice? My broker of choice, ladies and gentlemen. What is this on my table? Could this be oil? Shit. All right, guys. So, my sorry, guys. Something just distracted me pretty quickly there. My broker of choice is infinox capital why because i love them and i trust them very much and they are absolutely amazing so the link is going to be down below haven't had any issues with them they've been absolutely fantastic anyways back to what i was saying so gbp usd i bought this market somewhere about here okay my my overall take profit was here however my the rule states that you must always take out 50 percent at the what 100 percent retracement which is the top here why because we can get here and the market can decide to do anything same thing with my aud usd trade i took out 50 percent because guys anything can happen once i take out 50 percent of my position i always move my stop losses to at least 10 or 25 pips past break even and lo and behold look what happened the overall target is here the market wants to come here but look what happened the market came back down and stopped me out for past break even now what is even more interesting is look at what would have happened imagine if i did not do what i had to do the market would have given me pips and come to eventually stop me out for a loss if the market gives me pips i must lock it in i can never go from a winner to a loser never happens no matter how little i need to take out and guys lo and behold lo and behold look at what has happened the market has eventually come to lift off to eventually want to come to my overall target level so a lot of you guys are always crying and complaining oh my god i was correct but it stopped me out before no 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 no. it gave you profits before it stopped you out when it gives you that profit devise a strategy devise a kind of like a checklist plan to ensure that if this market gives me profit i would ensure that at least i bank some at a certain point so that regardless of what happens when the market got here i was no longer afraid i moved my stop loss past break even to at least 20 pips and i took out if i had two lots open i closed one lot so i made money off this pair in my bank account even when it came to stop me out i still made plus 20 pips on my remaining one lot okay so and guys look lo and behold i would have gotten stopped out without a doubt and i've been crying i hate when the, i hate that shit trust me when i'm in the profit and then the market stops me out so what actually was happening for gbp usd was i think it was just pulling back to come and test this level properly this trend line level properly and that's exactly what it has done and guys let me tell you something let me tell you something for free i know this market is going to come here now as in for like before i was maybe 85 percent sure now i'm 100 percent sure and i'll tell you why because look what happened the market has come to break down below this support it has come to weed out all the stop loss region this is clear case of market manipulation clear case of what market manipulation it has manipulated all the stops and look what always happens after market manipulation shoot to the upside the market comes bullish engulfing candle closes right above here the truth is i was not paying attention to gbp i wasn't actually looking um i was to be honest i was distracted i was handling business that's just the honest truth if not i would have bought here because i like to always trade right after market manipulation because i know for a fact the market cannot do it the, the market the investment banks don't have enough money to run the stops twice it costs them money to do market manipulation so they need to make the money back okay so what usually what i'm trying to say in essence is i like to trade after market manipulation because at that point and that point only is when the market rather at that point and that point only is when the market is now ready to head in its what proper direction so here you go guys if you go if you zoom out go back to my previous videos i predicted here a long time ago two videos ago one video ago check it out although i'm no longer in this trade 
there's no point coming on here and telling you guys what I'm not doing. Okay, so GPP USD has been nice to me. It's giving me the pips that he wants to give me, and that's uh, and so be it. I'm at peace with that. Anyways, guys, if we do break this level about here, there's a lot of room to the upside for GBP USD. So GBP USD is pointing to the upside overall. Euro USD is pointing to the upside. AUD USD is pointing to the upside. What this simply means is that the dollar index might be looking for. Uh, might be collapsing pretty soon to be honest guys so get ready for dollar weakness and um obviously pound strength euro strength AUD, USD strength maybe that's why gold is acting a bit mad i think maybe gold might be getting ready for a potential swing to the upside let me just adjust this properly you know i can't really say for now so i'm gonna leave this to go so guys that's pretty much my analysis today in a nutshell for those of you guys who want to grab the forex mastery program the link is going to be down below let me see what's happening to oil oil next level target 64 dollars a barrel easy peasy forex mastery students you already know this easy peasy easy peasy boy easy peasy easy peasy you see you don't need indicators to tell you this. You don't need indicators. Fuck indicators, my guy. Screw that shit. Oh my god, YouTube doesn't like when I swear. I don't care. Sorry, YouTube. I'm sorry. So gold is coming and oil is coming up here pretty soon. Um, let me see. So we don't AUD USD. Told you guys what to do. Watch out for a pullback for a potential buy scenario. Let's go for the far time frame. Watch out for a pullback. Zoom this out properly. I hate when my chart does this. Um, ping pong. Oh, we just blow out from here. Jim P USC, no tradable opportunity. The euro, simple ping pong. First level target has to be here. Even if you only take out 10% of your position. What is 10% of two lots? 0 0.20. Take out something. Second target here. Third target here. Um, I think that's about it, mate. AUDUSD done, GPUSD done, Euro done, gold done, screw gold, gold is annoying me. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to see you guys on the other side of my screen. I love you guys very much. Stay tuned. I got something to tell you guys before you got to go. All right, guys, so there you go. Thank you for staying till the very end of that quite lengthy analysis. I hope you have learned a lot from today. I hope, most importantly, you've been able to realize and understand that it's not all about how, many, how often you trade. It depends on the quality of the trade. I'll take that again. It's not how often you trade. It all boils down to the quality of the trade. Guys, like I say, I like to come in here week in, week out to give you guys my perspective of the market. And guys, for those of you guys who haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery course, trust me, guys, it's one of the best out there. As you can see, we didn't use any indicators. No indicators will show you all the stuff that I'm showing you guys in front of you right today. No strategy, no signal will save you in this market. What will save you is your ability to come on here and break down the charts. As you can see, I broke it down so easily and so calmly. If you want to grab the Forex Mastery course, the link is going to be down below. All right, guys, thank you for staying to the very end of my video. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Drop me a comment if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you guys in my subsequent videos. Take it easy and God bless you.